Hey, it's Dr. Erica, Dr. Mom here. Today in this video, I am gonna talk about caffeine, right? So who thinks that you're a caffeine addict? Most of my patients have a morning cup of joe, some need more to get throughout the day. The good news is that caffeine can be healthy and actually good for you as long as you don't drink too much of it. For most adults, that's about 400 milligrams or about four cups of coffee, according to the FDA, although some people are really sensitive to it <clears throat> than others. Most of you probably notice it towards you know, the latter part of the day, maybe after 2 or 3 p.m. Personally, I love the taste of caffeine or coffee, and I drink coffee that's infused with reishi mushroom. Most of you know that I have my favorite coffee. It's reishi is an adaptogenic herb that helps with balancing my blood sugar, calming, actually calming my nervous system, not amping me up, my immunity, decreasing acidity, inflammation, and so much more. And <clears throat> there was a time where I couldn't even have one cup of coffee, even in the morning, because I would feel really, really jittery. So right now I drink about one cup of coffee a day, supercharged with grass-fed butter or ghee and a scoop of collagen. And it does give me a little boost, but it just makes me feel pretty darn good throughout the day. But I'm not a caffeine addict. So if you have ever missed a day of coffee and wondered if you were going to make it to the next day without it, or if you get a crushing headache because you skip your morning coffee, well then, you know, think about that. Plus, it, if it, studies show that if you drink too much caffeine or coffee in the morning, it's directly linked to feeling more tired later in the day. Not good, not good. So if you find that you're relying on coffee or maybe even tea or those energy drinks to get you through the day, then it might be time to rethink your routine so that caffeine becomes an extra, right? Not a crutch, like you're not relying on it. So a routine like what, right? A routine that you can build in healthy habits like energy promoting foods. I always say with every meal, you should have a lean protein, veggies and fruits, like in lots of, lots of fiber and healthy fats. Um, get morning air and sunshine. That's really going to help with your energy throughout the day and your sleep at night. And daily movement that really makes you feel great, energetic, and happy, but not overdoing it. I talk to so many people who are overdoing it with long hours of cardio or those boot camp classes, even like Orange Theory classes. Listen, you can regain control over your energy and your vitality, but it starts by taking action. And that action doesn't have to be gigantic, right? It could just be small, simple steps. And I have this amazing program that I have run, I have run hundreds of people through. It's my metabolic reset program. It's designed to help you have more energy, to help you sleep better, feel fitter, I help you create energy from the inside out, giving you an easy and complete program that will guide you through the right foods to eat. I have recipes that are curated from a New York chef, and we have weekly meetings to guide you through habit-forming lifestyle tips. So it's not just the foods, it's also about your healthy habits that you build up over time. So if you want to know more, I want you to click on the link below to learn more about it. I plan to lead a new group um, planning for the fall, so I would love to have you join me. If you have tried my program, been through my program in the past, and you want a refresher, I'm going to have something special offered for everybody at the different stages in their life, health, you know, healthy lifestyle. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have an energetic and inspirational day. Bye for now.